Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Scorpios for the week starting August 15, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you all of you guys who subscribed already. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. I'm so grateful. I feel humble every, every week when I receive messages, every day. Sometimes when I receive messages from you guys, very, very connected with a lot of you and grateful for this connection. Thank you very much. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now, my Scorpios, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask Spirit for guidance, and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position this week. We have the Nine of Rods. Look like you're getting ready. Uh, we're not too sure what you're getting ready. You're definitely looking forward. Um, it could be in different areas of life. The Nine of Rocks, sometimes it's really, it's putting yourself in the offensive position. You know, it could also mean that, you know, you may create some type of obstacles for yourself. But in any event, you are ready to defend yourself. So sometimes you have to, you know, go forward or go first in order to defend so whatever strategy or position that you have this week, we'll have to see uh, the other cards. Uh, but what's happening is there will be a full moon in Aquarius. <clears throat> Sorry. And so Aquarius uh, is your fourth house. It's a house of home, foundation, family, uh, real estate, you know, things that are reliable, okay? So it could be something related to that, but let's see what we have in the near past position. We have the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. Here we have to look at how you're going forward. If you are, you know, showing your intention, there's definitely a change of energy this week in terms of how you relate to other people. I don't know where maybe something happened a few weeks ago or I don't know where what happened that makes you uh, wanting to put yourself in a position where you see is, he's not looking ahead, he's not looking at us, he's not looking at us, he's looking on the side. So there's, a, there's this, you know, way of maybe not really caring for for others here, or, or just, I should say, going for self here this week where you have a certain position and you're going towards that position. Some of you uh, could be, you know, keeping your car close to your chest, being not, not, not really be, uh, re revealing themselves too much or their intention. Be mindful of that because, you know, Mercury is in retrograde in your 11th house. And your 11th house is a house of friend, friendship, friendship circle, group circle, network, and things of that nature. So I don't know if there's something. Because sometimes, you know, when there's a new energy, Scorpio tend to be suspicious. And they just get suspicious for, there's no really a reason specifically. Sometimes it could be their intuition. But they have this obsessive vision sometimes that could be incorrect. It could be just like, just, you know, a little bit of that Pluto energy, which is, you know, when you're paranoid, okay? When there's a lot of paranoia. That's what happens when we become a little obsessive. So I'm not sure if that's what it is. As you said, guys, for those of you who have listened to my last uh, reading, there was a few things that happened and people confirmed to me that unexpectedly created a huge disruption in their life or in the life of a Scorpio that they know. So even if, you know, this may not go in line with all the Scorpios, it's a general reading. Some of, uh, some Scorpios are definitely now going in a direction. They're going somewhere with something. 
they're trying to find out something or maybe they're trying to defend themselves it's not clear yet because of the seven of, of uh, swords let's see what we have in a position of the future this week we have the nine of swords so it is not the time <clears throat> in the future sorry we see that the nine of swords I'm gonna take some water because my throat okay we see that with the nine of swords that um, there will be some some delays created uh, probably by this you know convention like this way of not really uh, explaining others our intention or our, our issues or not having a clear way of opening up to others that we have now restricted ourselves which is something that happens to Scorpio sometimes they make something small bigger than it really is and it's just because they get suspicious okay and now the nine of swords in a future position I find that you know some of you will not be able to go forward or maybe you will be um, you know you'll you'll have anxiety on how to uh, go forward you won't know who to who, who to turn to you know you'll have a lot of question in your mind in terms of the people that are around you because you yourself in a way are behaving in such a subdued way or you're in a defensive or but there's a very uh, suspicious energy around you and like I said it could involve your friend because of um, you know the 11 house energy right now which is Mercury in Virgo with Venus in Virgo which is the house of friendship that could you know be out of sync this week because now Mercury is slowing down Okay. And let's see what we have in the position of the outcome this week. The Nine of Pentacles. I'm happy to see this card here. Because it's, it shows that it will be business as usual. Those could just be internally. Even if it's like air. Like this one is Seven of Swords is you not talking as, as, as you should. You know, as you're not telling it, people what you're doing. And this is just, he's in a background, he's just ready to defend himself. But here with the Nine of Rocks, we know that for those that are in business, it will be business as usual, maybe even a very profitable business. The outcome could be also that you're generating more money, maybe because now you're looking at everything or you're spending more time alone, you're getting the time uh, that you need to uh, get things going. And you're not, you know, necessarily involving others, but you're just doing your own thing. And at the end of the day, because you're able to do that, you're still gaining in terms of finances, of worth, money. Maybe there's some other areas that you want to gain also, maybe. But at this moment, because of this uh, energy, and it affects everybody. But sometimes we have to do what's best for us in a way where you have to see, okay, well, right now the energy is not, you know, uh, Mercury is going retrograde in Virgo on top of that. It's, it's, it's interesting how this will unfold. Let me take this time to just focus on my business because the Nine of Rod is, you definitely have the energy. And you could be, just like I said, just because you're of such a, you know, uh, you not being able to communicate your intention, you could just be, going just forward in different areas of life like just in your business maybe this is where you're gaining for some reason maybe now you have the time because of the 11 house retrograde maybe less people around you maybe that's all you need and maybe you need that time just quickly to get things done but i'm going to end this reading here for you my scorpios let me know how this resonated with you leave me comments until next week send you lots of kisses i love you